Musician, producer and composer Nitin Sony has chosen someone who revolutionised the flamenco guitar. This man's impact was so immense that when he died in 2014, the whole of Spain wept. Paco de Lucia, more than any other flamenco guitarist, is probably responsible for popularising flamenco as a form right across the world and getting it to people who perhaps wouldn't have been as interested before. It's his speed of thought and precision of thought that happens spontaneously that, that is so shocking. From the age of about eight, I, I listened a lot to flamenco. My dad had a lot of flamenco records in the house, and, and I remember kind of hearing uh, flamenco guitarists and being astonished by how many different techniques they had and how they could make a, a guitar seem a much more dynamic instrument in, in the way they could actually hit the wood and, and have these beautiful tremolos and all these different kind of um, ways of playing the, uh, the guitar. But originally, people like Segovia, the greatest classical guitarist of all time, really disapproved of flamenco as a form. He, he, he looked down upon it. In fact, um, he once said that uh, he wanted to take the guitar out of the noisy hands of the flamenco guitarists. There is a lot of drama in the form of flamenco in itself. I mean, if you see the dancers or if you hear the singers who just suddenly stand up in the middle of a song and actually just walk into the middle of a stage and, and start performing this incredibly powerful and melodramatic dance. I mean, I love that melodrama and what uh, Paco de Lucia could do would be to add additional drama and find his own voice within each of those forms that I think Paco de Lucia took the form of flamenco and elevated it to, to the point where no one could look down upon it anymore. In particular, Paco excelled at picados, super fast runs played by just the index and middle fingers. No one could play Picardo the way that Paco de Luthier did. He was just such an inspiration across the board. You know, Picardo is, is incredible to watch when somebody plays it well and when somebody is on fire just playing through solos like he was. You want to watch it again and again. From the late 1970s, Paco's collaborations with John McLaughlin created an exciting new vision for flamenco. Paco de Luthier, you know, was, was also influenced by jazz and influenced by jazz harmony. As a result of that, he was able to find so many different colorings and voicings in flamenco that elevated it to something unrecognizable to a traditionalist uh, from the flamenco form. His mentor, Sabikas, actually disapproved of the fact that he was pushing the boundaries so much, but I think that he really took the form of flamenco to whole new audiences and really popularized flamenco um, to people who'd really never come across it before. He was a revolutionary. His music, it, it makes me feel like anything's possible. 